Hey and welcome to this new video. I'm really excited to share this video with you guys because I've never seen a video like this before. Also I decided to use a voice generator for this video. Tell me your opinion on it. So I asked some of my favorite After Effects editors for their best editing tips and today I'll share their tips with you all. Before we start, thank you so much to these editors, I have linked their Instagram accounts in the description. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's start with the video. So first I asked TikTokFX and she said it's important to always use Twixter slash Velocity on videos because it makes the edit look so smooth. So here's one of her video edits and as you can see the clips look really smooth. I have a video called my Twixter settings, link in the description. Next, I asked Xtoria.mp4. She told me that everyone should know how to change the motion blur settings to make them look better. So let me teach you how to do it. Don't mind my After Effects being German. Go to your composition settings. Then click on advanced and change shutter angle to 450. Here's one of Xtoria.mp4's edits. Then I asked Preach and they sent me a whole list with tips. I can't name all of them in this video but I'll put the list in the description. But here are my faves. Add motion blur and also RSMB to your edits. Use 30 to 90 FPS on your edits for very smooth edits and 15 to 20 for aesthetic edits. Don't add sharpen after film damage. Don't add strong slash fast panning. Here's one of their edits. The next person I asked is Grace Aniston. Her tip is very simple but still very useful. She said that it's really helpful to know the shortcuts, for example S for zoom or P for slides. I'll put a YouTube video with shortcuts for editors in the description. Now here's one of her edits. This advice is from OM Gotsky. After finishing your edit add S shake to it. Here's how it looks without S shake. And this is how it looks with S shake. Now here are my settings. Change amplitude to 0, 0,500, frequency to 3 and X shake to 60. Now for example if you look at this intro from one of her edits you can see that panning effect. But she also gave me a second advice, make sure to zoom in so you can't see that mirror effect. Let me explain this to you with one of her old edits she sent me. Let's zoom in so you'll understand what I'm talking about. So make sure to zoom in a bit so you can't see the mirror borders. Okay but now let me show you one of her recent edits. Next person I asked is Jan of FX and she said before rendering your edit, switch the quality to full and watch the whole thing. Then render your edit and it's gonna render so much faster. I tried this for myself and my edit took only one minute to render which is really fast. But keep in mind that not every computer can handle this. This is one of Jan of FX edits. presets out of effects you use very often. Here's how to do it. You can do this with every effect. I don't know how to explain this so just follow my steps.
highly recommend doing this with effects you use very often because it saves time and makes editing easier. Here's one of Bicarac's edits. Then I asked Dixie Swift and she gave me a list with effects she really likes to use. 1. CC Particle World 2. S Texture Flux is good for outlines and can be combined with rough edges. Three, Turbulence Displace, especially for beginners because it makes the edit look better. Now this is one of Dixie's pfft edits. And for the last tip I asked my base AEP and he told me about a plugin named Flow. I've never heard of it before but I did some research. So basically it's a plugin for saving and adding graphs which saves some time. Here's a little demonstration. Put a link on how to crack the flow plugin in my description. You're now looking at one of my base AEP's edits. And that's it with the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it because this video took me so long.